Hey everyone, Mike from Video Maker here. Hey, I just wanted to show you something we got in yesterday. This is the Sony FDR AX1 4K Handycam. This is a brand new camera, not on the market yet, uh, but Sony was kind enough to send us a pre-release model to take an early look at. Now this is running a pre-release version of the firmware as well, so the final picture quality may not look exactly like what we're about to show you. So we'll do a full review later down the line when we have something that is a, a little bit more official. But for now, let's take a quick look. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, you'll want to hit the gear down there and select original so you can see the 4K footage if you're using a high-res monitor or 1080p if you're running a 1080p monitor. Uh, if you're watching this on videomaker.com, uh, you'll want to head over to YouTube to see the 4K if you're interested in that. Otherwise, just feel free to watch the 1080p footage and it should give you a basic idea. Uh, looking at the footage, uh, you can see that sharpness is definitely uh, uh, looks great. Um, other than that, it's a normal camcorder. Um, it's not super clean and pristine like a cinema camera. It doesn't have that super wide dynamic range, but for a camcorder of this price range, which is at $4,500, it looks about right. Uh, normal level of dynamic range. There's a little bit of digital noise, a little bit of digital artifacts, but, um, but not an unusual amount. And that actually may improve when the camera is released in October. As for the body, uh, it's essentially the same body as the Sony NX5 with a few minor differences. The buttons on the side are largely the same, only a few are in a, in a different spot. On the back, you can see that it shoots onto a XQD card, which is uh, something that Sony developed to be able to handle this high bitrate footage of 50 megabit per second. It doesn't have an SDI out connection, uh, which would have been nice to see, but there you have it. On the other side of the camera, on the NX5, there's a spot here for an attachable flash memory storage device. Um, on the uh, FDR-AX1, there's actually just a large fan. This camera requires quite a bit of computing power, and it creates quite a bit of heat inside, so Sony's added this fan to help pump some of that out as it's churning away. Uh, the camera shoots an XAVCS codec, which uh, right now is pretty hard to come by. We couldn't find uh, something to, to install here in the building. It will be in Vegas 12 eventually, it's not yet. Um, so for now, we load it into Premiere, and we have to watch it at uh, one fourth resolution to get it to play smoothly. And it does require an i7 processor to work. We loaded up on an i5 Mac Pro and it kind of choked. So i7 for sure, at least for the 4K. It does shoot at 60p as well, so we are talking about some pretty um, high bitrate footage. But at any rate, that's the Sony FDR-AX1 and Video Maker's first look. Thanks for watching.